All right, so let's let's do a little bit of practice. During this next game, try to do short hop dare, because I can't crouch cancel short hop dare. Uh, if you do your dare, because of the low angle it hits me at, it's so low, your character, when you crouch, it pops you up in a spike end, because it's spike. Uh, it's a very weak spike, but just the fact that but it's spike... But then I Well, you'd have to L cancel it. Okay. So like, uh, here, I'll, I'll go Fox. L cancel and then... Here, this is empty. This is perfect. Alright, don't do anything. I get to be, uh, I get to be Aaron from, uh, Attack on Titan. <laughs> Da 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 Alright. Oh my god. I can't- I am so bad. Alright, that's pro- Okay, actually, you know, let's go into debug mode, real quick. Alright. Even better. Not Gandorf, I swear. Alright, training codes. Uh, L cancel options. And then, you know, just in case. You know what, this is actually fine. That way, if we need to cut it off instead of going into bug, we can just switch our controllers. Alright, so we're gonna flash white when we successfully L cancel, and we're gonna flash red when we miss our L cancels. So, don't start me again. Ah, uh, yeah, there we go, cool. Alright, so, very simply, you wanna just do a short hop, do a down air, and then L cancel. Now, it's really tricky to, to L cancel a down air. It honestly is. And the reason is because, so you know how your down air has multiple hits? It's not Falco, that ain't Falco. Yeah. It has multiple hits. When you hit someone, for every time you hit them, you go into hit, you go into hit lag. So your character like, uh, let me see if I can, I'm trying to do it and hit pause at the same time. I'm bad at this. Okay, so for a little while, your character is actually going to pause right here, in this animation. And then they'll move, and then they'll hit again, and then they'll pause, and so on and so forth. This happens for both. Your opponent goes and hits done, you go into hit lag. And the reason that matters is that it changes the timing for your down air. Right. The more hits you hit them with, the later you need to do it. But, if you're expecting a lot of hits from down air, and you whiff, like your opponent wave dash back and you miss them or something, you have to react and, and do it early, because otherwise you're going to miss the L cancel, and they're probably going to punish you. Because down air has a lot of lag. Like, check this out. I'm not going to L cancel it. Look how long that takes. And then you L cancel it. The uh, one of my favorite techniques to practice, even though I'm still obviously bad at it, is short hop, fastball, down. Air. But you have to practice on opponents too, because the timing is different when you hit somebody. Okay, I'll, I'll just stand there so you can do it on me. Try to try to do the short hop. Like oh, yeah. you do it with you jump with Y, right? Yeah. So for right. me, because of my grip, I can slide off with my index. Yeah, it's honestly it might be easier than claw. Yeah, claw. I I like it. I like it a lot. There's some characters where it's technically optimal, most notably Peach. Um, but Armada does not claw. MACD does, but Armada does not use the claw drill. And in fact, of the of the gods of melee, I think the only one that claws is Mewtwo King, and even then, he doesn't always claw. He uses it for some things. But it is technically optimal in some instances to use a claw drill. In at least some instances. Um, which is why Mewtwo King does it sometimes, because he's Mr. Optimal. Why am I on Down Smash still? That's, that's not a thing. Oh, by the way, you're practicing short hops with literally the hardest character to do it with in the game. Well, tied for the hardest. But I see, that's why I'm sitting there wondering, I'm like, I've never struggled on a video game to do any boxing, yeah. to do any anything. I've never, I've never struggled like that. I mean, yeah, it might take me a little while to learn it, but I've never struggled like... I never sat here like that over and over and do it in like 10 tries, but when I first I started playing this again, bro, I was like, oh no. Oh, yeah. This is crazy. Yeah. But with the claw, it's like twice as easy. When you play a character like like Falco, or Peach, like, well, Peach is weird, but like Puff, like Roy, Doc, they have a much slower timing, and so it's much easier to, to short off. 
Um, look at how you see that. I'm not even. Oh, I'm you didn't press the button. I'm not even pressing the button. Yeah. yeah. But look, I'm not even pressing the button, and it's, he's, he's doing a full hop. I'm not even. <laughs> oh, it's not. So it's not how lightly you press the button. It's how quickly you release it. You can press the button so as lightly as you want. Yeah, you can press all the way down as long as you. That's why when I do it, it's a sliding motion. I'm not pressing the button and then releasing it. I'm pressing it and then sliding my finger off of it in one fluid motion, which honestly is the. It's the weirdest thing to get used to because I'm literally moving my finger like a like an oval. In an oval shape. It, especially with Fox, it feels like I'm just lightly caressing the button. I'm so bad at this. But, you know, it's, it's really important to get used to. Especially when you play a character with a short hop that's so low. Fox, Falco, Falcon. They're fast followers with pretty low short hops. Oh my goodness, you can check this out. I'm I'm bad at this, but I'm still gonna do it. Oh okay, okay, you're bad. Alright. Oh sorry, did try not to get near me if you're gone. Okay. <laughs> That's called a nair plier, for exactly the reason it looks like. Short hop, fast fall, nair. And when you follow it up, oh I you don't miss the L cancel. You can follow it up with a shine. Um, <laughs> so you you hit them, Nair, Shine, so that even if they shield, if they try to shield grab you, your Shine hits them, and then the Shine punches them. Um, and then you get a mix-up of like, once you hit them with the Shine, did you anticipate them still holding shield? If yes, you can Shine grab them. If you did not anticipate them still holding shield, you can follow in with a, a Wave Dash. It's, there's so much depth to this game, I love it. <laughs> I love it, dude. Like, just I'm gonna I'm gonna turn on the infinite shield glitch. Not call that. Okay, infinite shield. No. I said. No, that's not it. There we are. Infinite shield. Okay, see, both of our shields are now infinite. Hit me with an aerial, like a short hop aerial, and shine. Just any aerial. Nair. Let's go with Nair. Nair's an easy one. You have to L cancel it, because if you don't L cancel, I'll have time to shield grab you. Oh my god. Yeah. I'm struggling right now. You can do it off full hop, but try to do it off short hop if you can. So ideally, if you're trying to make it where there's no chance they can shield grab you, you do the nair as close to the ground as possible. But for right now, just practice just practice a nair. Oh, there we go. That was a nair that was L canceled. And then once you hit the once you hit the L cancel, after that, shine. And there will be literally no chance for me to shield grab you if done correctly. That's Alex's thing. Alex will hit you with like a down air or something, and he'll always follow it with a shine because he knows that like at least 80% of players, that's just my estimation, will try to shield grab there. <laughs> and he, he just gets free stuff. It doesn't work when you get to higher levels of play, but you know. It's still a good mix-up to use. I also taught myself how to... I shield with R and I wave dash with L so that I can get frame perfect wave dash on shield. Like that. But that's very not necessary. There are some players, like Mewtwo King, has, at least he's talked about, I think he does, the one button version of it, which I... pow. You should think you're insane. I don't know how you do that. Mm -hmm. Like, I just did it, but I wave dash straight down, so I didn't go anywhere. Where you push it, you push it all the way just before the digital, and you use the digital click as the the one that wave dashes you. Like that. That's a one button version. Oh, and, so okay, so see, I'm pushing it almost yeah. down to where it clicks. Yeah. All, the, all the way, almost where it clicks. It's still a full shield. And then from here, you jump. And then way down. And then you and then you do the digital click. With that, that's a one button. It's so much easier to use too. I'm in the Dexter stuff, so it's easier for that's me. Right. But if you're if you're right-handed, and I think you are, you might find it easier to do just one side. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I found it easier to like hold 
holding left. And yeah. Like, that's when, when you see me way dashing across the stage, I'm holding left. And yeah. Like, it took me a month of playing, like, every, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't paying a bit of attention to that. Shine the bomb. Oh, yeah, Spoiler alert, you cannot shine bombs, guys. No, We're not, try. this isn't Metroid. This is try. Right. You can't shine. Alright. I just put, like, Samus' Morph Bomb and Shine Spark together to say Metroid <laughs> features bomb shining. Shine bombing. Whatever. Okay. Enough of that. Now to the actual game. The reason I said Peach is a little weird is because float canceling negates all- I don't have to L cancel if I float first. So, it, in a way that's easier because I don't have to L cancel, but in a way it's more technical because I have to float first. And for low floats, especially if you don't use a claw grip, that is really tricky to do. Like, I don't know how Peach players, like, we have a guy who used to be in Athens, he's at Georgia Tech now, CAUP, cop. Yeah. He does not- He's our top five. He's t uh, I think he's fourth in this game. Dude does not claw, and he's a peach solo mag. How? Oh, honestly, yeah, he's just been grinding. That boy he's, he's fast. He got right. <laughs> yes, he's sir. Fast. How? How do you do that? The, the answer is he presses the button and hold and does it like this. But if you do that, in order to do an instant aerial, you have to like fly over to the C stick if you're going to do anything but a nair. Um, which I just realized might be why he favors float nairs. <laughs> that might be why. I will be right back, brother. Cool, okay. cool. I gotta check my buddy's pop. All right, nice. Here for it. So just real quick, while I was while I was waiting, I just decided to practice my shield drops. Oh, hello. That's how you do it. Oh, that was neat. And uh, I'm okay. I'm okay at shield dropping. Ah, oh, transformation. Oh, it's gonna be water? Okay, that's cool. So, uh, I don't normally shield drop, like, anywhere near this level. This is, this is actually kind of terrifying, too. Let me try it the other way around. Okay, okay. Oh, well, we got that one. Now this is... Oh, jeez. Okay, so apparently it's just one side. My controller is just doing it on one side. Oh wow. Like, I'm not missing it when I'm doing left. So, some controllers are slash work with R broken in such a way that you can shield drop more easily on one side. And it's too technical to get into right now, but basically the reason is because the case is tilted a bit. You see these gates? Yeah. This gate right here is not quite aligned with this gate. And it makes shield dropping on one side way easier. Like that. Yeah. That's why I keep shield dropping left like it's no problem. Shield dropping right, though... Yeah, that's messing me up. <laughs> Alright. Oh, wrong one. There we go. Right. The left side. Oh, I was getting it. May, hey, I missed one. There, there we go. So, I don't know if you know why shield dropping is a big deal, but basically, if somebody hits you on a platform, you can drop through the platform to instantly do an aerial. Uh, um, and that's huge because you get to skip this jump squad animation. You get to skip your character doing that. That. Or try to do a jump, and then pause right at the start of your jump. It's tougher, Fox. Hey, there you go. So you see how you're in that crouch animation? Yeah. When you shield drop, you skip that. So you can just instantly do an aerial. And so it's great for punishing people. That's not very fair. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not. And some characters have it way better than others. Mm. Like, uh, if you happen to do something in front of a Peach's shield on platform, Peach can drop and do a float up air, 
Oh, man. Jigglypuff can do a dropping up air. Like, up airs in general tend to be pretty good. Sheik can do a platform, f like a drop, a fair. A shield drop fair. I know, oh, that's disgusting. Especially if you're pushing them off the stage and doing something. And you just grab to a comma. Yeah. yeah. Or you just edge guard and, like, yeah. Alright, you, you paused, so we're on you. Uh, do you mind if we do. Uh. Is it, let me show you something else. This is a fox thing. I'm gonna show you a fox thing. It's not just fox, but fox gets a lot of use out of this. So I'm gonna go fox, and I'd like you to do something. I'm gonna turn on, uh, that'll work. I'm gonna turn on infinite shield. We'll do FD just because that's, that's easy. I'm gonna turn on infinite shields. Alright, cool. So your shield doesn't deploy. So shield. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna approach you. When you think I'm about to get to you, shield grab me. Okay? You know how to shield grab. I mean, yeah, of course you do. You saw what I did there. Alright, try it again. Oh, sorry, I messed up. Ready? Alright. Oh, bro, I'm getting confused. Okay, because you're. Okay. I, I always play that color, and I'm getting confused. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go for it. Alright, you're, right, you're good. You're, you're camo box. Alright. Alright, I messed up. I messed up. Alright, you did that preemptively. That's good. Alright. All right. So what's supposed to happen is I'm supposed to hit the ground with, with what's called an empty hop, meaning I didn't do an air. Right. And then when that happens, I I can either wave dash or away. So like, like that, and you can try to shield grab, and I'll grab you back. Yeah. Or alternatively, what I was trying to do, and apparently failing at miserably, is I got it the first time, but I'm trying to jump in, do an empty hop, and then dash dance. But apparently I can't seem to do that. That's, yeah. Like that, except an actual dash dance, and I just one like. Honestly, it may be easier to just try to do... Do shield again, please? Ah, oh, wow, that was terrible. Look at that. Like, so when they shield grab, you come in and you punish them. Yeah. That's the idea. So that's a thing you can practice. It's hard to practice if you're not playing against people, but try to consciously integrate that into your game. You know, because a lot of, especially lower level players, they're going to try to shield grab. It's a bad habit. I do it. You do it. Alex does it. Even some good players do it. Um, oh, yeah. So you can just... Ideally, you do the wave dash right before you hit the ground. Like that. That, exactly like that. And of course, practice from both directions. Because you can see I have a harder time doing it on the right than on the left. Guess which side I practice more. So don't be like me, practice both sides. Alright, no, right, so there we go. That's the thing to practice. Alright, back to the sets. Boy. Back to the sets. Um, 